Hello all again Safarians, I'm now back at my studio, okay? So today I'm going to show you guys a collection of prehistoric reptiles versus modern day reptiles. It's pretty exciting, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? The first figure right here is actually a beautiful Ramphorhynchus. So this is actually a prehistoric flying reptile from our collection, okay? Next up, what is this? This is actually a modern day reptile known as a horned lizard. It is a lizard with like plenty of horns on its head, especially, okay? Next, let's take a look at this. This is actually a prehistoric reptile yet, yet again. It is known as a pterosaur, all right? A beautiful one, you can see it has like huge wings. Of course, they're able to fly really fast and high. Next. Let's take a look at this. We have a sidewinder rattlesnake. So this part of the tail can actually rattle. Yep, that's right. It will make a rattling sound that is very, very loud. Next up, we have an elasmosaurus. This is actually a prehistoric marine reptile. The long neck enables it to catch fish pretty easily. Next, we have a Komodo dragon. This figure is pretty cool. Um, Komodo dragons can be found in Indonesia. Next up, we have a Chronosaurus figure right over here. This, this is one of our largest prehistoric marine reptile figure. So, yep, it is actually a Mosasaur, which is a type of Mosasaur. All right, let's move on. Um, we have an Iguana right over here. It's a beautiful one. I've actually seen one of them, you know, a really huge Iguana near my home recently. All right, next up, another prehistoric flying reptile, and this is known as a Quadlis. This flying reptile is as big as an airplane, a big as a passenger airplane, those commercial passenger airplanes, so that's pretty big. Okay, let's move on, and this is a coral snake, you can see this snake has like, plenty of colors, and this is actually like a baby. Next up, another Chronosaurus right over here, okay, this is also a prehistoric marine reptile. Alright, next up, let's see what else we've got. This one looks very cool. It is known as a fruit lizard, which is a, um, I mean, this fruit actually reminds me of the fruit that you can find on the Dilophosaurus, which is the dinosaur. So yeah, this is a fruit lizard, which can be found in Australia as well. Another prehistoric reptile is this, which is known as a Pteranodon, which is one of the most well-known uh, you know, prehistoric flying reptile. And here we have a beautiful saltwater crocodile. And do you guys know that saltwater crocodiles, they are actually the largest reptilian species and they have the largest white frost that you can find out there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, Mosasaurus, which is my most favorite prehistoric marine reptile. It's the most famous one as well. Next up, what is this? We have a tortoise, okay. And this is a Hydrotherosaurus, which is a marine reptile as well, a prehistoric marine reptile. As you can see, the neck is extremely long, so I'm pretty sure that it's able to catch like fish and it's prey like really fast just by moving the neck. And here we have another saltwater crocodile, and I think this actually comes with some facts. So let's take a look at this. Um, added um, together. The ferocious predators attacking with great speed, they take their prey into deep water to drown it in the death row. Wow, that's pretty, pretty vicious. All right, a beautiful saltwater crocodile. And um, right over here, we have a Mosasaurus. And um, this figure has been around for a couple of months. It's a really beautiful one. I love the colors. Let's see what else are inside this box. And not a crocodile, but this is actually known as a Nile crocodile. A nice one. This prehistoric marine reptile is known as a Nothosaurus. Pretty cool. You can see it has like web feet. You know, the part of this feet are actually web. You know, similar to like dogs. Okay, right over here we have a crocodile, I think, or is this an alligator? Do you guys know? I think it should be a crocodile because the snot is pretty narrow. Alligators they have like much bigger snot, wider snots. This one right here is actually my I think this is my best Mosasaurus figure. 
I think so. One of my best, if not the best. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else we've got. This it's a cobra. Yes, cobra. This figure is pretty cool. You can actually bend the body, and uh, yeah, it's like bendable, malleable. And uh, let's see what is written right here. One species can spray venom up to eight feet away. So that's pretty cool. And this is a white alligator. What do we have right here? This is actually a um another haunt lizard or is this a thorny devil? I think this is a thorny devil which can be found in like Australia as well. Okay, another Mosasaurus figure which is really nice. Yet another Mosasaurus. We have plenty of Mosasaurus because Mosasaurus are actually my most favorite prehistoric marine reptile. And here we have a modern day reptile which is a an alligator, I think. Yep, this should be an alligator. Okay, the spider does not belong in the I mean does not belong in this video. It's basically this is a tarantula spider. Okay, spiders are definitely not reptiles. Tropianators, once again, um yep. We have a stick inset which shouldn't be inside this box as well. Okay, another prehistoric marine reptile. This is a um, Tronosaurus, I think. This snake, I have no idea what, you know, it is. I don't have any idea of the species. I'll just call this the black-headed snake, okay? This, it's a brown snake, which is a native snake to Australia. And here, we have a corn snake, a beautiful corn snake. What is this? This is actually known as the Burmese Albino Python, which is very cool. You can see the coloration itself, very different from other snakes. And this is a collared lizard. You can see there are like two stripes across the neck area. Okay. And here we have a coiled snake. Yes, I think this figure is from Safari LTD, if I'm not wrong. White snake, and here we have a tortoise, a giant tortoise, and here we have a desert tortoise. They're pretty small as compared to the giant tortoise, and they can weigh up to like 80, I think like 8 pounds of something like that. Pretty small. This is known as a caiman, which is a very small species of crocodiles. I, I mean, I think that some of them can actually grow like larger. And this is a lizard right here. We have a snake. No idea what this is actually. And we have a frog. Two frogs right here. We shouldn't be in this box because they're not reptiles. But yeah, I've just placed them right over here. So yeah, this is basically our collection of our modern day reptiles and some of our prehistoric um, reptiles. It's not my entire set because I have a lot more. We have plenty of like, you know, Mosasaurus. We have plenty of um, prehistoric flying reptiles. I mean, if you if you guys want to see, you know, we still have many more right over here. There are still some um, really cool dinosaurs. I mean, if you guys want to see my dinosaurs collection in, in you know, on Den Safari, let me know as well. I'll be happy to do that. I'll probably make another like you know dinosaur video for you guys like really soon on Den Safari if you guys want me to do that as well. Yep. Thanks for watching this guys and um yeah I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.